to talk about creating special characters on your Mac. There are a couple different ways to do this. Uh, first, we're going to talk about using the Option key, and then we're going to talk about the Character Palette. So everyone knows when we're using our keyboard, we can use um, our normal letters. If we hold down the Shift key, we're going to use our capital letters. Just like holding down the Shift key, if I hold down the Option key and choose any letter or key on the keyboard, I'm going to create a special character. Now I've made a list here of some of the most used ones that might be helpful for those of you guys um, you know, looking for those special characters. Option K, so simply holding down the Option key and then punching the letter K will create our degree symbol. Option G creates our copyright symbol. Option F will create our function symbol. Option E is a special one. If you hold down Option and then hit E, it's going to create an accent mark. Notice the yellow highlight is letting me then choose a letter to accent. So for example, let's say I did Option E and then wanted to accent an I. Now I just hit the letter I and I have an accented I. Um, option 1 will create our upside down um, exclamation mark. Option 2 will create our trademark and option 4 creates our scent. Um, these are a couple little helpful ones. Now, other than the option key, we can also find some other special characters, including fun things like hearts um, or, you know, looking for the actual command character. The way to access this, if you go to the edit menu in the top left hand corner of any program on your Mac, you'll see the option for special characters. Let's click on special characters here and our character palette will pop up. Now, there are quite a few different characters on here. Um, you have where you can search by category. So if you're looking for math characters or currency symbols, uh, miscellaneous are the fun ones. Um, so for example, if we go to miscellaneous here, we'll see we've got our heart symbol. So all I have to do is choose the symbol that I want and click insert. And if you notice here, it's inserted that into my document, uh, whether it be a text document or a um, if you're online somewhere or if you're creating an email. Um, I can also just double click on, click on the character and it will also insert the character that way. And the computer will treat it just like text, so I can move my cursor and space it around just as though it were a text character. So have fun with that and I hope that helps you guys out.